Hi, it's about 10 to 5 in the morning. We're in Stonehaven Harbour and we're about to go off to Peterhead. It's about 36 nautical miles. So I've got the torpedo attached to the rudders. Very gently pulling us out of here. There's so much control at low speeds. We just have it where we wear a few watts pulling us ever so gently outwards. And there's very little wind in here at the moment. Hopefully there's a bit more out at sea. Okay, and change to forwards. And we'll be going out. That's Stonehaven disappearing in the background. We've got 800 watts going in and we're going at just over three knots on a very flat sea. I'm gonna put the sails up soon, but there's hardly any wind, so I'm not sure it'll do much good. But we can keep going at 800 watts for quite a long time. See how far we get with that. It's quarter past five now. We've got the sails up. They're not doing anything though because there's zero wind. But we're going along at about three knots with the torpedo, going at about 800 watts. It's seven o'clock now, we've still got no wind. I've taken the jib in, left the main sail up. We've got about seven watts of charging at the moment. Actually only three watts of charging coming from the solar panels, but that's because it's really overcast and it's still only seven o'clock. Well, we've been going for two hours, making two to three knots of progress. So hopefully the wind picks up soon. Otherwise the battery's gonna run out in a few hours time. Coming up to eight o'clock, I don't know if you can see this, but that's a seal swinging along beside us. And it's gone. Hi. It's nine o'clock now and we've reached some kind of milestone. We've been doing 10 nautical miles since we left Stonehaven back there, just under the power of the torpedo. There's still no wind, and unfortunately there's not going to be much wind for the next few hours at least, so I might have to turn the torpedo even down a bit from here. We're currently going at a bit over three knots, but that's because the tide's just turned and is going with us. So maybe I'll turn it down to about 300 watts and that'll preserve the batteries for a bit more. We've still got 25 miles to go until we get to Peterhead. Okay, it's nearly 10 o'clock now. We've got Aberdeen Harbour going past there. We're going at about three, three and a half knots with only 200 watts of torpedo going in. And that's mainly because of the tide, There's still no wind. But what I have done is put out 400 more watts of solar panels. Unfortunately, it's still overcast, so we're only getting 44 watts in at the moment. But that means that we're losing about 150 watts, which is not that much. We can keep going at that pace for about 30 hours. So we're doing okay at the moment, but that's because of the tide. Let's hope the wind picks up and let's hope the sun comes out as well. And then we'll be able to charge the batteries and we should be fine. We're about a third of the way now. It's 11 o'clock and things are looking up. We've got about three knots of wind here, even four, which means we're going at about three knots without any torpedo. And the sun is coming out a little bit. It's a bit brighter. I've got my 400 watts of extra solar panels here as well. And we're charging the batteries at 180 watts at the moment. So everything's going pretty well. If it keeps up like this, we should have no trouble getting to Peterhead by about five o'clock. It's half past 12 now and it's gone up to about six knots, the wind. So we're doing about five knots. Everybody else is relaxing in here. We've still got 200 to 300 watts going into the battery. And so that's charging nicely. We're moving along nicely. I still expect to get there by three o'clock, maybe four o'clock. I hope this isn't a bad omen, but there's an awful lot of birds flying around here. 
seems to be going around in circles and then sometimes landing. And it's similar the other side. It's nearly two o'clock now, the wind's dropped off again and we're actually coming close to the point here where we turn in to the left. So we've got about seven miles to go. I'm going to turn the Torquedo on again because the tide's dropped off and I want to get there before the tide turns and also before the wind changes, which is going to do in a couple of hours' time. We've got the Torquedo on again, so we're going at 3.2 knots with no wind. We used up about two, two and a half kilowatt hours previously I think and now we've put back in with the sun one to one and a half kilowatt hours so I think we're about one and a half kilowatt hours down which means we've still got one and a half kilowatt hours at least to play with and that should be plenty to get us to our destination so I'm not too worried about using the torpedo at the moment. Alright still almost no wind. We're going at 2.9 knots though with a bit over half a kilowatt of torpedo and we're zipping through the water because the tide is against us and here is the entrance to Peterhead. We're just going to go around these rocks here, these are called the Skerries and then we turn left and go into Peterhead. Just past the Skerries here, there's quite some eddy currents going around that so I turned it up to 700 or so and we're now moving it two and a half knots, although we've been going between about two and three knots, depending on how fast the currents have been against us. We're just about to come out of it now, and then we'll be about a mile away from the harbour entrance. So we've come out of the currents here. We've gone down to 600 to 700 watts, and we're doing 2.8, nearly three knots. And there's the entrance. So we're in Peterhead Marina here. We've just arrived. It's 10 past four and we still have 20.9 volts. So I think we use probably about four kilowatts in total there and we recharge maybe one or one and a half kilowatts. So we've still got a couple of kilowatts left in the battery.